Hello everybody, my name is Roderick and this is my never ending back catalog of games and today's game is Cave Blazers. Cave Blazers is a platformer roguelike style game, kind of like Spelunky, but a little bit more pixel arty. <laughs> Actually, if we go ahead and take a look at the Steam page here, uh, as you can see right here, Cave Blazers, I mean there's a lot of action going on on the screen. Um, Literally says, Cave Blaze was a challenging and brutal roguelike platformer, journeying to the mysterious cave, fighting orcs and goblins with abundance of weapons and magical items, make friends along the way, and watch it despair as it crashed into bloody pulp under a troll's fist. Alrighty, your, your friends will get crushed. Uh, probably no friends today because I'll be playing by myself, but you know, that is what it is. Very positive reviews, released to Steam May 24th, 2017 by Deadpan Games, published by Yogscast. Nice. Uh, it's currently uh, $9.99. We'll take a look at the reviews after we play through the game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a first impression series uh, where I play a game for the first 20, 30 minutes, <clears throat> kind of get a feel of it and see if uh, what it's like, if it's fun, if it's bad, if it's janky, if it's if it's amazing, god tier, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I am using a controller for like the first time. This is literally the first episode uh, where I'm using a controller for anything. Um, just because for this style of game, I think a controller would fit a little bit better. Uh, we're going to take a look at the some of the settings, though. We always like to take a look at some of the settings. Mm, not so much video options there that we can adjust. Um, keyboard, completely customizable controls for keyboard and uh, this, I do believe, anyways. Yeah, fully, fully customizable, which is actually rather awesome. Um, as far as gameplay goes, you can go in, turn off damage numbers, screen shakes, indicators, disable ending... You can turn off the ending of the game itself. Hmm, how peculiar. You can also do multiplayer. One thing about this is it is split screen, though you can download a mod, I believe, to make it uh, online multiplayer. But as it stands, it is split screen multiplayer for now. Uh, journal, challenges, journal literally just catalogs things that you've done. Let's just jump into the game. Let's play a game. It's a roguelike. Uh, you, you die... You get items, you repeat. You, you, you go in, you get items, die, repeat. What is that called? There was a movie about that from um, Tom Cruise, right? Live, die, repeat. But they've changed the name of that movie like three or four times. There's a, there's a story going on. I don't... I, I, I've not even paid attention to it. it <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what, the, what the, the, the whole premise of the story. What truly lives within these cave's walls? That's the story. That's the story. So we got some movement here. Look at this, boy. Look at this. I actually kind of dig the uh, the art style here. Uh, hold Y to toggle my inventory. I actually had to look down at my controller because I didn't... <laughs> oh, look. What brings you here, kid? What are you looking for? Money? Hundreds of ventures have come here. Seeking fame, fortune, or power. None survive. So what makes you different, kid? I could probably, like, respawn. That's the thing that makes me different. A rusty old sword. You won't go far with that. Oh, no. I got I got Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Won't be enough? How's, how would a bow not be enough? Look, look how freaking the bow is insane. I was kind of feel. I feel like they should have like a double jump feature, but I guess not, kid. Get off my platform? No, no way. Can I talk to you? Okay. All right. What have we got here? Custom mode. We're not gonna do custom mode. What's up here? You can you can jump off the walls though. That's pretty cool. Perks? Do we have perks? How do we access this? Oh, okay. Start off with an apple and a bomb. Perks. Oh, I see. Okay. So we started off with an apple and a bomb. Can we talk to you then? Hey, get off. Get down from here. Okay. Did we just go in? I think we just go in, guys. Let's. We're going in. We're gonna blaze this cave. Level one cave. Oh, there's a story. I need your help. Get up here, fella. Okay. Can I kill him? What do you think the likelihood of me being able to kill him is? Probably not too high. What's up over here? What's over here? Not much. Not much. I'm kind of digging the, like the retro pixel art style. Yeah. 
give him a, a real hard time. I'm pretty beaten up, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, you know what's going to be pretty hard to, like, jump and, uh... Jump and, and use the, uh, the... Or, so, in order to shoot the arrow, it's the, uh, this button here. Or this, this joystick. But the jump is A. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Great job. Hey, listen. I found these boots. Oh. They're a little large for me. I had a pretty tiny feet. Okay. But hey. It's not the size that matters, right? Lol. Here, take them. Are they double jump boots? They look like double jump boots. Aether boots. Uh, when charged, press LB to use magic items, equip items from the inventory. How do we... Oh, snap. He's, he's down there, like, killing people. Wait a minute. Oh! No, they're attacking me! What? Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, that was that was very unexpected. Also, the music is like bumping right now. What was that about? Wow. Okay. All right. The music's really loud. Um, what is? How do I use these aether boots? Hold on. How do how do I how do I use these aether boots? Gamepad. Magic item is LB, but do I have to I have to equip them, right? Oh, here we go. Equipable. Use to increase your movement speed for three seconds. Okay. So now, oh, okay, now it's equipped. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But there's a, a chest here, so we can open up the chest. Spike trap. What is the spike trap all about? When placed, it's a usable item. When placed on a ground, the spike trap snaps and snares the first enemy that steps on it. How do I equip it? How do I... I, uh, I, um, I, I, I used it right there. <laughs> There's also this, like, item, uh, right, ah! So that happened. Uh, whew! <laughs> Okay, I, I I was like standing in a safe spot apparently, but when I switched over to uh, uh, switched when I jumped up to see if I could grab it, I landed on the spikes, even though I was just standing on the spikes originally. Look at all this, we're getting some money. Okay, you love to see some money, right? I don't know what the money's used for. I'm 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 sure there's a good reason to have money. Oh. Okay, how do we pick that up? Okay, RB. Oh God, I'm okay. I I'm, I'm doing so bad at this. Uh, fun fact: I don't think I've I've ever really played Spelunker either. Which this this game kind of feels like a um, like a little bit more hardcore Spelunker almost, with with a little bit more retro style art. All right, so why? Equipable. Uh, a big hulking gauntlet uh, imbued with orcish magic. Used to create a large spectral fist which hits the enemies. Yeah, let's equip that. Okay. Alright, so it's got to like charge up. How does it charge up? Oh, there it goes. It's like super slow. Everything, all the enemies are, are they, they seem calm at first, but then they get like super fast and, and they're deadly. But I guess you shoot pretty quickly as well, so it makes sense. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people down here. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. We just, we fell down and there was just so many people and I was just swinging away. Things don't spawn, pause. Uh, we're going to, we're going to equip that and sure, we'll equip that as well. Okay. Huh. Okay. So those spikes do 80 damage. Pfft. 
I've unlocked the combat shirt. Okay. <sighs> I've unlocked the combat shirt. What is this? Daily run? Okay. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. We can actually customize our guy. Look at this. Oh, we're going bare-chested brawling here with our tidy whities We're not going with tidy whities We'll go with black pants. Hair tints. We'll go with uh, dark brown hair, facial hair. We'll get the full beard. We'll get that full beard going. Sure, sure, sure. I'm up top. We'll get the flick. Tapered back. Shorts. Bald. Big ponytail. Ponytail. Massive. Let's do the... Uh, uh, curly up mohawk the pompadour oh I like the pompadour let's do that okay all right so we have the access to that so this is our perk system we only have the one one perk right now feels like it feels like it almost is wanting us to go up here oh ho oh, what is over here bunch of rags you unlock the olive robe you unlock the brown dashiki. You've unlocked the red suspenders. The gray headband. Nice. Okay. So I'm assuming that's outfits, right? It is. It is outfits. Okay. All of top. Oh, there's the combat shirt that I unlocked earlier. Red suspenders, brown dashiki. I like the red suspenders. Olive robe. Let's go with the olive robe. That, that's almost like a Legend of Zelda feel to it. Okay, let's go for another run. Let's try not to die in this run. Oh, we started somewhere different this time. Okay. Those guys are annoying. Oh, wow. A hobgoblin. Okay. Ha! Ah, slime! You vile slime! You vile hobgoblin! We shall kill you! That's weird. I'm sorry. <gasps> Ooh, yo, what is this? Spike sword. Okay. Um, we'll equip the spike sword for sure. It's a lot more damage. It's a lot more damage. All right. You love to see it. You know what doesn't help, though? Uh, the spike sword doesn't help against uh, spikes on the floor. Whoa, okay. I can one-shot these slimes now. Before, it was a two-shot for sure. These aren't the Explody Boys, right? Oh, they were the Explody Boys. I'm so glad I, I saw it. Okay. Okay. What is that? The spikes are so strong. Nimble Blessing. Movement speed increased by 10%. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, game. This is a quick access to my items? Okay. We're, we're... Oh, my God. What is this? The poison sword. A shield of ruin. Oh, shield ruin. Not a shield of ruin. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this. Poison sword. 10 to 12, but a 50% chance to melee damage. Or to, um... Uh, poison damage, but I think the spike shield is way better. Yeah, the spike shield is just hands down better on use. Gives shield to yourself and all nearby friends. Okay. What do we got going on up here? Oh, hello. We got some hobgoblins. Rune. What is Ring of Affliction? It costs 137 uh, gold. Okay. Well, let's go find some gold then and we'll come back. What do the black potions do? It's probably health. Let's see. How do I get to that? How do I? Oh no, no! How do I get to the the potions here? Consumable. Um. I got something. It did something. I don't know what it did, but it did something. <laughs> that was an orc. I'm thinking. It looked like an orc, anyways. One thing I could I, I could say could be an increase. Is this a baddie? So is this this isn't someone else? This is like an AI person here that's moving way way better than I am. Oh, it's friendly. It is friendly. Okay. 
poison rain. Um, one thing I can say about the game is maybe maybe the sprites can be a little bit bigger. Like everything seems a little. It's it's. I like how zoomed out it is, but everything seems a little bit too hard to discern. Plus two melee damage, plus twenty five dam poison damage. Oh, so you would think with that I'd want to equip the um, oh, royal ring. Sure, I'd want to equip the poison sword, but even still. Mm, eh. I'm gonna hold off. Oh, I can go get this this other ring over here. So this is a just like an ally that's just with me now. So what is this? Ring of Affliction. Uh, plus 50 fire damage, poison damage, bleed damage. Oh yeah, okay. Um, we we want to equip that instead of the poison one then, because it'll do it'll do bleed damage for us. Oh, these are stuff we can stuff we can buy as well. Ascended blessing, blessing of the ballista, magic bomb. Let's do the ascended blessing. Increase the number of jumps by one. Oh yes, double jumps. This is double jumps are very nice. A game like this definitely needs multiple jumps. It definitely does. This this just feels nice. Is this another ally? Do we have like a lot of people here with us? A lime potion. We'll drink it. Oh no, that did bad stuff to us. Okay, so the there, those potions are consumables that have that that are negative. Or positive then. Okay. Red potion. Let's let's take it. Plus two melee damage. Okay. So uh, we got a net positive of, of of plus one with the potions that we took. This looks like something we can break. Maybe the bomb. Hold on. Maybe maybe this this bomb. My guy. Did this not work? Do we? Maybe we have to. I, maybe I. Maybe I have to. I, I put it in like the wrong spot, huh? It didn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. We wasted our bombs on it, but it's for science. It's for science, okay? It's for science game. Fire arrow blessing. Chances of firing fire arrows. Nice. I don't feel like. I, I think with the controller, it's just super hard to get arrows going. Maybe if you're at, like, range. Oh, a pole arm, huh? Max health. Oh, that, get, that was a health shrine. I didn't even notice. What does this pole arm do? Oh, I'm being attacked. Hold on. I think I switched to the pole arm instead. That's fine. That looks like a baddie. Is that a baddie? How many friends do, how many friends do I get? Okay, what is this pole arm? What did the pole arm that I got just do? Very long we uh, weapon. Um, movement speed down, range speed down. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the spike sword, and then we're gonna try. Oh no! So the pro this is a potion of free 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 frailty frail frailty potion of frailty. Permanently reduces melee weapon and range damage. Okay. I'm glad that it tells you, so you don't have to, to try and remember it. We're not going that way, because that spike will kill us. And I am not looking to get killed by that spike today. Um, we got, is that like Aether Boots? <gasps> we can walk through the spikes? Yo, that's a game changer. That's literally game changer. Okay, so what is this? Uh, equipable. Yeah, we'll equip it. But what's it do again? Increases movement speed. Okay. All right. Woo! Look at this. Oh god. Okay. I think I need to get a better bow for me to feel more confident in using this bow, huh? We our health is really low, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but our health is surprisingly low. That's another thing that I would say about the um, the game. Maybe the UI could be a little bit better positioned. Um, there might be something in the settings where I can adjust the UI size, but like as it stands, like the 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 standard UI size is a little uh, lackluster. Yellow potion. Okay, well let's, let's take a look at the yellow potion. Oh, shielded. Oh, nice. Okay. I think that, that protects me from a one-hit kill move. We got another poison sword. Where, I wonder if there's going to be a merchant where we can sell some of these items, huh? You think there's going to be a merchant where we can sell some of these items? All of our friends are dead. 
Oh, is this a boss? Okay. I was not expecting to fight a boss already. Asgard, the diabolic, bloodthirsty demon. Oh! Okay. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Um, the range is... Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, alright. How we... Our arrows... Big dookie. Yes, yes. Okay, we just gotta dodge everything. We have 14 health. Uh, we'll, we'll drink this. Oh, no! We drink the potion. At least it, it took it from their maximum, not our, our... The amount that we have now. How are we gonna dodge all these? Okay. Okay, alright. He's gonna do a drop now. And then we go in with the big damage. We go in with the big damage. Boy, yes! We got this. Phase 2. This is basically a Beholder, by the way. This looks like a Beholder. We got some uh, fire damage going on. Nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, Phase 2 is going pretty well. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're getting, we're really close. We're really close. If I die, I'll be, I'll be upset, but I'll uh, be understandable. Wow, we actually beat the boss on the first freaking go. Look at this. Well, not the first go. I mean, the first time we've seen the boss. <laughs> Um, we got a bunch of items as well. Uh, demon runes. Steals 10% of your health, but increases your maximum health by 20. No, stints. Okay, and then consumable gains 20 health. Equipable. Flying demonic eyeball, which uh, follows you around and fires lightning. Oh, yeah, let's equip that. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do this. We'll do bop. Then we do bop. And then we do... Bop, and then we do bop, and we're up to 34, but our max is 130. I don't know, how do you drop items? I'm, I'm scared of, like, clicking on anything just in case. Okay, so it's X to drop. Okay. Eh, I'm not even going to pick any of those up. Let's go. All right. Would you look at that? We beat a boss. That's really cool. I'm, I'm kind of digging this game. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging this game. I'm kind of digging this game now. All right. Oh, that is a bad. That is a baddie. Okay. Uh, he got something that gave him health, and I'm upset that we don't have it. Oh, we're only at five health as well. Oh, okay. But what is this? Aerial blessing boost band. We'll take the boost band for sure. Titan slay blessing. Blessing of the heifer. I mean, I don't want to be the. I mean, this one's like glowing, so I think this one's free, right? Yeah. Fire magic and explosive resistance increase. Um, I, I guess we take the Titan Slaying Blessing. Killing boss permanently increases your attack damage. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, well, game over, but we made a lot of progress, and we've unlocked the Dark Cloak Coat. And we've unlocked the Archer Perk, so we can start with an Archer Perk now. Okay. We've unlocked a couple things. Total score, 827 on that one. Not bad. Not bad. We're, we're pretty low on the leaderboards. Um. <laughs> oh, there's uh, a little bit more story here. Phew. Quite a trek to get here, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm Barry. But you can call me Fergus. I'm here to fix some sort of... Ah. That looks like it. A prumit of pumice crystal? Looks to be in a bad shape. What's what have you been doing with it? What are you talking about? Phew, this is really gonna cost you. I'll get to work on it right away. So he must be like a merchant that does something or, or he does something eventually. Okay, that's cool. You know what? I kind of dig this game. I'm a fan of roguelites, as it is. You know, um, Binding of Isaac is my favorite game. And this one kind of, you know, it, it, it it's starting to tick some of those itches for me. Starting, starting to tick some of those itches for me. We'll have to see. 
Let's go ahead and take a look back at some of those Steam reviews that we saw earlier, though, okay? So here we are. Um, oh, yeah, here's the mod that allows you to do online multiplayer with up to three friends, so four-player multiplayer. Wow. Um, Steam review. So here's a negative right off the bat. Very fun and challenging roguelike platformer with gameplay, I'd say, it's something like Vagrant and Spelunky, but in my opinion, has some major flaws later that make it less enjoyable that it could that it could have could be here are some thoughts pros nothing crazy to say about the visuals okay minimum retro style oh my god he goes like super detailed i was having a lot of fun with it at first but after beating a few times and unlocking what i call a true version difficulty of the game it becomes very rng dependent and rage inducing with some floor layouts enemies can end your run that that is more of an issue for because extra cool content to be enjoyed i mean that's kind of like the main point of like these hard roguelike games right um, hard, enjoyed a lot of very difficult roguelikes, but learning, love learning, and the nuances and mechanics needed to beat the land. The hard modes. I can't. My reading comprehension comprehension today is uh is 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 real bad. <laughs> uh, I had a bad time in a variety of ways. I was frustrating uh, that there is no nuance to my character actions. When you press the analog stick just a bit, he goes just the same as if you slam it on the edge. It should be fighting the enemies, not a one-tile ledge on the lines of fighting enemies. I avoided fights because they were on some diagonal stair hell, and I would have fought some monsters on a one-tile ledge where I was have to move to swing and end up moving past them before I swing and swing it the wrong way. That's fair. This guy's got 26 hours into it, by the way. Bought it for the multiplayer mod. Don't regret it. Um, really enjoy Cave Blazers in general sense. It's very similar to Spelunky 1 and 2 in gameplay-wise. Okay, I don't think I've ever played Spelunky. I I I know of the game. I've, I'm sure I've played it, but I've never played it in a sense where I've like gone through it and beaten it. These are all older reviews as well. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe. Um, four hearts. <laughs> Very fun, except for hard mode. Hard mode's bad, huh? Bought it for the Oxcast, stayed for the game. Very challenging and hard. First couple runs, only gets harder. Enjoy. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'll probably uh, keep playing it as well. This is one of those games that I don't necessarily think I'll be playing for the channel. Like, I I, 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 I turned some of my What Is This series into, uh, like, actual, like, gameplay uh, Let's Plays, but... I don't think this is one of those games that I will do that with. This might be a game where I play by myself on my off time, not on camera. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, this has been uh, this has been a fun one. I hope you guys uh, guys liked it as well, and you can leave a comment down below. Let me know what uh, what books you've been reading recently. Anyways, take care.